Hello friends, this is Rehan. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to see dog bar controls in Life Ray. Okay, so what is a dog bar in Life Ray? I hope you remember. Now let's go back to the Chrome. So this is a side control, and this is a dog bar control. Okay, so basically, dog bar control has four buttons, four drop down buttons. Okay, one is admin another one is site another one this is uh, actually notification button and this is a, a user options button what are the uh, what are the page what are the pages the user can uh, see what uh, settings he can change okay so this uh, under this admin drop down button you can find the various option that the admin and uh, that the current user joey blocks can administer in a website okay so uh, so since we are admin we can able to administer site we can edit ship the pages we can edit the content we can edit the users can change the configuration of the whole life life reporter we have access to the control panel also okay since we are an admin we have access to all these uh, options okay what if if we are a normal user okay so we will check it out we will go to control panel now We'll go to users. Since uh, there is no new users, so we are now going to add a new users now. Okay, so under users, you are going to all users. These are the uh, these are the users which are already there. Now we are going to add a sample user. Since we have checked that sample data, have you remember? While we are configuring the life rich, we are checked that add sample data. So these are all the sample data which was added by life rate. Okay. So now we are going to add a user. Add user. So we are going to give screen name as Rehan. And my date of birth is 29 to uh or 1988 okay so this is my data birth oh shit it's okay let it be anything uh hope it will be okay let, let me give it as uh december 1 1989 okay so my email address will be rehan at life dot com okay my title is mr okay so the first name is rehan since it is required i need to give it last name is Hanar okay so we had uh, created a we are into the required information now we are going to save it now as an admin we have created on user the setting is getting saved now the setting is saved okay now we need to set password before you log out set a password because by default it there won't be any password won't be set so we need to set a password for that user so default password we are going to give it as test1 ok test1 password required we can't change it because uh, by default uh, life ray uh, we, they have designed to change the password when the user is logging in first ok we will do at the final tutorial ok do remember this ok so we have set a password and we are going to save it test one okay now we are going to log out and now we are going to log in as Rehan okay the password is test one remember me sign in we have to since we are logging in first time you have to agree the terms and conditions uh, if you are if you have lots of time then you can read all these terms and conditions then give I agree. Now, uh, as we as you remember, we, uh, we had to change the password for the first login. Now I'm going to give it just test, so that uh, all the password be same. So it will be easier for us to remember. Now save. Okay. So um, father name is test. For everything test test test. Okay. So that it will be easy for you to remember. See, now we have logged in as a normal user. Now if you can see the dark bar, there is only 
two drop down buttons one is the notification button and another one is the our profile button see but we can't edit anything any of the portlet properties we can't add it you see the site controls also got messed out so this is uh, so the dog bar changes based on the user roles since we are just a normal user we can't have access to that dog bar okay now we are going to log back login back as admin test remember me sign in so now we are logging in as admin now if you see if we log in as admin all the four um, all the four were drop down button is back so since admin has rights to change all the website and he can view everything so he can make changes on the site since uh, all the options has been came okay so the dog bar changes based on the user roles uh, in the upcoming tutorials i will show you uh, by changing how we can give admin rights to the user normal user and we will check the dog bar and everything okay now the second uh, drop down button is my sites okay in my sites you can find two website one is what is this is this is extranet website and another one is intranet website okay so this extranet and intranet website is like uh, uh, you can also design two two types of websites it's like uh, uh, like for a, if you are an intra hey, if you are inside the company if you are connected in internally to a server you can set this intranet website you can you can completely modify this intranet website okay if suppose if you are uh, accessing the network from outside so what are the options you should need to see this is an extra net website we will also see this uh, and uh, what is this thing so it's like a intranet portal and uh, and this is extra net portal if you are accessing from outside so under this life ray uh, company there are two sites okay one is intranet site and another one is uh, extra net site okay and another one is notification okay this notification uh, will be like uh, if a, if a user is uh, adding any content suppose in a workflow workflow it has uh, to be approved by the admin then only the data should be published suppose a user add a block then it should we are given approval permission to admin after he approves then only it will go so like after the user created the the, the notification will come here so after the admin has approved here this and then then the document then the blog will be published publicly okay so that's what under this notification menu and this joy blogs as i told before itself my profile is like a profile since it is under web it and uh, this this test profile will be viewed by anyone so it's like a, like a facebook page for each user uh, they can edit their own uh, their own page here okay my dashboard is nothing but for user what are the uh, what are the apps you want what are the portlets he wants to use uh, internally uh, like for since uh, like we are admin we have access, access to all the apps uh, so we can uh, so we can use um, so, so we can add apps and we can make modification based on our needs and my account is nothing but the account information of the current user which we have logged in uh, we are logged in as uh, joy blocks we can change it to test okay test 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 okay uh, now if we save it now we have change or refreshes now our first name and last name got changed to test test similarly you can change uh, your password okay so if you want to change the security question you can change you can see which organization it belongs to you can see what are the what are your pages under your account this way this one and uh, under my profile what are the pages are there okay my workflow tasks so like uh, what are the what are the workflow you have been assigned 
pending and completed what are the things uh, like uh, if suppose if you are a user and you have submitted a blog which has uh, gone approval to admin or your uh, project manager so the pending approvals will be here and uh, and after it is approved it will it will come to the completed task we will do a small task later while we are doing the portlet and workflow things and all and in later tutorials okay so that's all about the dark bar and uh, one more thing i wanted to show is uh, if you sign out and if you sign in as a normal user rehan she said password is test if you now sign in as normal user if you go to my dashboard if you can see here all the options can come so as i said uh, we are, this is actually only that user rehan can view it this page if he wants to add a, a calendar portlet or weather portlet he can just add and he can check what are the what is the weather what is the news or whatever whatever portlet we have we have added to that uh, to the to into the server what are the portlet he can access so all the portlets he can add here and he can customize his own uh, it's like a phone like uh, what are the apps you you want install like uh, whether you want whatsapp or weather app so similarly it's like language app my sites app dictionary app portal dictionary app so it's like a, it's like a, his personal page this one okay and this is his user page this, this one is uh, completely different okay so uh, this one is like a facebook uh, profile page see it comes under web so other other people also can able to see this page so he can uh, he have access to edit this page also his profile page also he can edit and his own personal page also he can edit but he can't uh, see he can also change the see if he, if he come if he comes to his personal page he can he got this admin button but with limited configuration if he goes to my profile there also admin admin comes with limited access okay but he can't edit the home page guest home he can't edit this website which is uh, which is viewed by everyone okay so this way we can segregate what are the sites for the user profile so we have seen three three types of site one site is for overall all the users and another type of page is profile page another is a dashboard page for for the user to uh, for the user to uh, create his own uh, apps and uh, and whatever things he wants to do he can do there and my account page like uh, he can change his here uh, information uh, email address everything my pages what are the page he has as what is what are submission he has got which are all similar only for the admin which we have seen right everything is similar here also so that's it about the dark bar i am signing back as admin so guys hope you like this tutorial do subscribe for more life free tutorials we will catch you in the next tutorial bye bye